It's time for Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. Just so you know, I play tennis, but I'm not a tennis player. While I eat food, I'm not a food eater. And even though I sleep Uh, every night, I'm not a sleeper. uh, This is Wretched Radio. If you're perplexed, perhaps scratching your head, join the club. And yet, sadly, not enough people are scratching their heads. Approximately eh, three weeks ago, I was sent a video of a local pastor filming himself with his cell phone, aimed the wrong direction, nevertheless, sharing his three prophetic dreams. And it initially had, when I saw it, about 20,000 views. Now, as we speak, 1.3 million views and all kinds of YouTube videos dedicated to sharing this pastor's supposed prophecies. And yet, even though he says he had prophecies, he's not a prophet. That should just be the start of your head scratching. Because I believe, number one, they are prophetic. Uh, The first one that I had has come explicitly true based on the events of March through June, the month in which we're living. And uh, I do not claim to be a prophet by any means. I understand, though, that some dreams and visions... Wait a second. You have prophetic dreams, but you don't consider yourself to be a prophet... How's that work exactly? I do not claim to be a prophet by any means. I understand that some (laughs) dreams and visions by their nature have a prophetic tendency to them. But I do believe I've seen things. uh, Okay, sir. If you're having prophetic dreams, only prophets have prophetic dreams. What do we do with a video? You would never guess this would go viral based on its production. Nevertheless, a lot of people are responding to it concern this guy has seen something from god and he is starting to use apocalyptic language including the antichrist being alive today and a lot of people are wondering hey did this guy really have prophetic dreams here's what you're about to hear from this pastor he claims that these dreams were verified by other people We don't get to see them or meet them, but nevertheless, he claims he told other people about these dreams that he had in December. Furthermore, he claims that these dreams, they're biblical. They're in alignment with the Bible. Question, if the Bible is sufficient, and it is, do we need more information and he would respond and say well no it's not more information this is information it's right in alignment with the bible then i would ask then why would we need these things and that is where this buck should stop and that is where the head scratching should end an individual who claims to have prophetic dreams but doesn't call himself a prophet and then says all of these dreams this is nothing outside of the bible then our response should be then we don't need your dreams because it already is in the Bible. And all we need to do is read it to know what is going to happen in the future. And what we know is going to happen in the future, it is revealed throughout the New Testament. The timing of those issues, no man knows the hour or the time. This fellow seems to hint, well, I kind of do. Both that have happened as relevant by the first dream that I had and some things that I've seen recently. So you can take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. You can pray about it. You can think about it. Okay, hold on a second. Hold hold on, hold on, hold hold on a second here. He's telling me that I can kind of take or leave his prophetic utterances. Yeah. Can you imagine Moses? Hear, O Israel! But if you don't want to, look, just pray about it and think on it. Can you imagine Jonah making his way through Nineveh? Nineveh! (laughs) Just something to chew on, maybe. I just spent a few days, uh, I was in a fish, and uh, God told me to tell you, think about this, I'm not sure exactly, but maybe you need to repent. That's not the way a prophet speaks. These either are or they are not prophetic utterances. You can think about it, uh, but I believe that I have a warning 
uh, for the country. Oh, what kind of a warning is that? Think about it, maybe, but I, I do think that I've got it. This is not the type of authority we would expect from a prophet, and I wouldn't expect it because this man isn't. A warning for rural America, a, rural, uh, a, a, a warning for America overall. But here's what happened. Back in December, I woke up, I had a dream, and in that dream, I saw a calendar starting January 2020. And it was being flipped. And I saw January, I saw February, I saw March. And when March came up, the hand held it, and I saw the fin- a finger underline the month of March. Please note, this video was made last month. Now, what you, what you do with that, you know, just think about it, just pray about it. I'm just saying this guy had a prophetic dream after the fact. That's what I'm saying. And then tap it three times. So underline the month of March, tapped it three times. So to me, it was emphasis. Something's going to happen in March. And- to me, this is now I'm interpreting a dream, which is always a bit of a trick, isn't it? Last night, I had a dream. I needed to get to my daughter's wedding. And I had to get my suit there. And it was getting stuffed into a suitcase. So what I think that that means is that the 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 wedding of the federal department of federal things and the executive branch with Nancy Pelosi is going to be very wrinkled that's what i that's what i think it i think and then i saw april may june and when june came the hand underlined june again and tapped it three times then in the vision I saw people marching. I saw protests. I saw people wearing masks. I saw lines going into hospitals. Okay. This is very good. Okay. All right. Hold on. Um, Tony, Hmm? I don't want to speak like a prophet. But? But I believe that in the early 60s, there's going to be a young president I saw in a dream who was assassinated in Dallas. That's what I saw. So... Just want to let you know, I had a prophetic dream about that. Yeah. How convenient. That's history. I saw um, typical medical doctors with needles or, 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 or syringes. I saw people on ventilators. I saw people who were very, very sick, very, very ill. I saw newspaper headlines trumpeting thousands of people getting sick. I saw um, ambulances just flying down roads. I- Have we seen that, by the way, ambulances flying down the roads? I mean, who hasn't? Well, in general, it makes me <laughs> sure. <laughs> I saw airplanes flying in the sky. Really? Tell us more. And then I saw, I saw cities on fire. I saw buildings being burned. I saw protesters with masks. Uh, don't don't know if I share this with you, Tony. You can you can do with this as you see fit. I had a dream, and I saw a stock market tape. It's going up and down and. Up and down. Want to let you know I had that prophetic dream about the stock market. Uh, I Profound. saw people who were had their fists in the air, people who were yelling and screaming, angry as at, just at the world. <clears throat> I saw courthouses. I saw... St- okay, on and on it goes. 15 minutes. And it's all the rage. And people are concerned about this. This boils down to one word and one word only, sufficiency. Either the Bible is sufficient for all of life and godliness or it is not. Either the Bible is everything that we need to know how to cope in our wonky era. Either the Bible is sufficient in every detail that it gives to us about the end times of which no man knows the day or the hour, or it is not. Why do I need this fellow having a dream? Well, the reason that he recounts his dreams about what has already taken place is because he does start talking about the future. And while he doesn't say that Jesus is returning in November, he does start to talk very much like an individual who is saying, the sands are nearly run out of the hourglass. The time is just about here. Now, here's a question for you. Does that tell me anything the Bible doesn't already speak to? Doesn't the Bible make it clear that we should be living as if any second Jesus could be returning and we don't want to be a foolish virgin? We don't want to be caught. 
not not ready for our master to return? Is there anything that we don't already know in the Bible that this fellow could tell us? This is for some reason, I'm telling you the video, he's wearing a like a red t-shirt. You can see the drop ceiling above his I mean it's just there's there's nothing to this. It's it doesn't even fill up the whole screen and yet people desperately wanting to hear a fresh word. Let me tell you about the Bible. It is as fresh as this morning's bakery at Publix. It is current. It is everything that we need. And the people who tend to fall into this trap are the people that need to be pointed toward the Bible and to be warned about individuals who claim they're not prophets, even though they have prophetic dreams, who claim to know when we might be near the end and encourage them to avoid them. We have a much more sure word, the Bible. This is Wretched Radio. Hey, hey Todd. sweet. Take around the block a few times. Who's a good girl? You're not because nobody does good. No, not one. Romans 5 says we're born in sin and iniquity no, and our no, hearts no, are deceitful no. and wicked. You know that if you'd use the law, which brings about the knowledge of sin. 